A colonia is an unincorporated community that lacks one or more infrastructures, such as potable water, sewage, electricity, paved roads, and internet connectivity. In 1991, the state of Texas funded a project to learn more about colonias. It was decided that Texas A&M would be the driving force behind that project. When, when we talk about third world conditions, everybody automatically, Mexico, Africa, Haiti, they think about all these other countries. They never think that it's right here in our backyard. Son siete años los que yo tengo trabajando dentro de las colonias. En ese entonces, ¿verdad? yo miraba que las personas que compraban los terrenos alrededor de Laredo los venían comprando más que nada porque eran más baratos. Eran mucho la extensión de terreno lo que se vendía. Entonces, yo pienso que por eso se fueron formando. Originally, I think that the colonias became very profitable because unscrupulous developers were selling the American dream. I'll let you buy land, and you know, you can pay me on an ongoing basis. But what is not being told is that they're paying 25% interest. They're being taken advantage of. The initial work group estimated there were 2,333 colonias along the Texas-Mexico border. The majority of the residents are American citizens that have been paying for their property for generations. The greatest portion of colonial residents want to be able to afford a better house and to improve their lot. They don't move a lot, but we do have some that still can't even afford a colonia uh, house, and they still rent in the colonias. The Colonias program established a training academy for residents and community leaders to become Texas A&M community health workers. El rol de una promotora viene siendo la unión que viene de una agencia de, que ayuda a las familias cuando las familias realmente no conocen, no saben que hay algún programa que les pueda ayudar. Nuestra misión, como quien dice, es unirlas a ellas, tratar de llevar los servicios que hay en la ciudad, los programas que hay hacia las comunidades o las personas que realmente no las conocen. Nancy is a colonia resident and so are the majority of promotoras at Texas A&M. The importance of, of us training colonial residents is that we want to make sure that we're replaced. So by training local residents to learn how to navigate the different systems, then you're building capacity from within. They become trainers of trainers. When they become trainers of community people, where they're sharing information and they're, they're teaching multiples and multiples. It's not only the one person that you train, you're training generations. So if you learn how to navigate the system, then you can better provide for your family. Approximately half a million people live in colonias along the Texas-Mexico border. It's estimated that half are under the age of 18. What I'd like for people to know about what it is that we do is that we are out in communities that have a lot of needs, but that our group is constantly trying to find ways to improve their living conditions, to improve their way of life. Yo pienso que todos, todos dentro de nosotros llevamos un prometer dentro. Todos, casi la mayoría tendemos a a ayudar al, al prójimo, querer este, salir a, y que se sepa lo, lo bueno, lo que tú traes, lo que tú sabes. <música>